from this lecture we will start a new chapter codes and in first lecture we will do the classification of codes the codes are broadly classified into following six categories but before moving to them first we will try to understand what do we mean by code when numbers or letters are represented by a specific group of symbols we can say that the numbers or letters are encoded and the group of symbols are called as code so simply the code is group of symbols so let me write this down code is group of symbols now we will move to weighted codes and most of you already know about weighted codes because we have used them in number system some of the examples are binary code binary code 8421 code 2421 code etc in weighted codes each position of number represents specific weight for example if we consider the case of 8421 code and let's say we are having four numbers a3 a2 a1 and a0 then weight of first position is 1 weight of second position is 2 weight of third position is 4 and weight of fourth position is 8 that's why we call it 8421 code 8421 are nothing but the weights of position in the same way if we consider 2421 code and let's say the numbers are b3 b2 b1 and b0 then weight of first position is 1 weight of second position is 2 weight of third position is 4 and weight of fourth position is 2 that's why we call it 2421 code this is all that you need to know about weighted codes we will discuss 8421 and 2421 codes in great detail in the coming presentations now we will move to non weighted codes and as you already know weighted codes it is very simple to guess what is non weighted codes in case of non weighted codes there is no positional weight for example for example xs3 code gray code etc so these are the two codes that we will study in coming presentations access 3 code and gray code and you will find there is no positional weight in access 3 and gray codes the third type of code is reflective code and uh, this code is also called as self self complementing code and this is very important code and a few examples few examples are 2421 code 2421 is self complementing code xs3 code is also self complementing code now let's try to understand what do we mean by self complementing code or reflective code reflective codes in this code code of 9 is complement of 0 code of 8 is complement of 1 code of 7 is complement of 2 and so on so whenever there is situation in which the code of 9 is complement of 0 code of 8 is complement of 1 and so on we call it reflective codes or self complementing code for example 2421 I will quickly write down 2421 code for you and uh, we will see whether 9 is complement of 0 or not 8 is complement of 1 or not and we will check the rest of the case also so I will write down 2421 code quickly the first column is for decimal and the second column is for 2421 code 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 2421 code for 0 is 0 0 for 1 it is 0 0 0 1 for 2 it is 0 0 1 0 for 3 we have 0 0 1 1 
for 4 we have 0 1 0 0 in the same way for 5 we are going to get 1 0 1 1 for 6 we will have 1 1 0 0 for 7 we will have 1 1 0 1 for 8 1 1 1 0 and for 9 1 1 1 1 so these are 2 4 2 1 codes and uh, now we will try to verify whether it is self complementing or not 9 is 1 1 1 1 and 0 is 0 0 0 0 so we can say that 9 is complement of 0 9 is complement of 0 and uh, you can see 8 is 1 1 1 0 and taking its complement we will have 0 0 0 1 so 8 is complement of 1 in the same way 7 is 1 1 0 1 and 2 is 0 0 1 0 so 7 is complement of 2 and 6 is complement of 3 and 5 is complement of 4 so this is self complementing or reflective code now we will move to next type of code and that is sequential codes in case of sequential codes each succeeding code is one binary number greater than the preceding code for example 8421 code xs3 code etc the next type of code is alphanumeric code by using alphanumeric codes we can represent numbers characters symbols and small instructions one example of alphanumeric code is ASCII code this stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange the last type of code is error detecting and correcting codes this code is used to detect the error and also correct it when we transmit the digital data from one system to another noise gets added to it what is noise noise is an unwanted signal and this unwanted signal is added with our transmitted data in the path and hence there is an error in the transmitted signal to detect and correct this error we use error detecting and correcting codes one example of this code is Hamming code this Hamming code is very important for your exam and we will cover Hamming code in great detail this is all for this presentation now we will move to homework problem in homework problem you have to study American standard code for information interchange I am giving this as homework problem because I am not going to cover this code in this course I will cover rest of the codes but I am not going to cover this code so it is better that you complete this as your homework problem so this is all for this presentation see you in the next one